too. Please rise. Well, welcome everyone. Are you ready to see this wonderful couple become one today? <laughs> this is the time for celebration. This is the time for love in celebration for Courtney and Travis. Let's do this. We are gathered here today to unite this wonderful couple in marriage. We are here to see their relationship go to the next level as they create their forever bond today. This is nowhere near the final destination. This is the beginning of new commitment, honor, and joy. Today is the next chapter in their lives. Today, they will form this bond formally and publicly. And they've invited all of you to share this wonderful day with them. This couple is lifting up to a higher position. They are rising to a higher level. Rain or shine, today is a celebration. When you see these two together, you see how connected they are. Love is certainly present. This couple is not only celebrating the love between themselves, but also celebrating the love between all of you. Today, you are surrounded by the most important people in your life that could be here. We're all so happy to share this commitment with you. Extraordinary marriages require two extraordinary people. And the couple you see before you are two extraordinary people. Did you know both Courtney and Travis love to spend time outdoors? <laughs> this includes taking hikes with their dogs. They also enjoy doing projects around the house and spending time at home with their three dogs, three cats, and I kid you not, 22 goats that all have names. <laughs> now the bride is definitely the better cook the groom can't cook as well, but is an exceptional griller. 
They love to play video games together at home with family. And on this one, Travis always wins. <laughs> this couple is extraordinary. Now you may already know that Travis and Courtney met on a dating app when they were both in high school. But no worries, they didn't talk until a year later. When they finally met in person, Courtney's brothers and mom were all there and drilled Travis to make sure he had good intentions. It's safe to say you passed that one. Courtney's first impression was that she loved that he played sports because she loves being active. And plus, she thought he was very cute. Mm. Travis's first impression of Courtney was that she was absolutely beautiful and he felt lucky to have met her. On their first date, they saw 10 Cloverfield Lane in the theater and then went to lunch. Things continued to progress. They fell in love and were soon calling each other, babe. <laughs> when it comes to music, Mama Mia 2 soundtrack is special to them and has a little bit to say about love. I am riding higher than the sky and there's fire in every kiss. I asked Travis and Courtney to share three qualities they love the most about each other. When asking Courtney, what three qualities do you love the most about Travis? She said, I love how kind and gentle he is. I love that he makes me feel like I can be myself no matter what that entails. And lastly, I love that he always supports me to the fullest extent in everything I set my mind to in life. Hey, Travis, I think she likes you. Yeah, yeah. hopefully. I asked Travis the same question. What three qualities do you love the most about Courtney? And he said, I love how when she loves, she always loves with her whole heart. I love that she is extremely kind to everyone and everything. And lastly, I love that I can trust her blindly through any situation. I think he likes you too. <laughs> Marriage is so much more than love for one another. It is so much more than becoming partners for life. Marriage is about the two becoming one. Today is your forever unity of truly completing each other. A poem on your wedding day. Today is a day you will always remember, the greatest in anyone's life. You'll start off the day just two people in love and end it as husband and wife. It's a brand new beginning, the start of a journey with moments to cherish and treasure. And although there'll be times when you both disagree, these will surely be outweighed by pleasure. You'll have heard many words of advice in the past when the secrets of marriage were spoken, but you know that the answers lie hidden inside where the bond of true love lies unbroken. So live happy forever as lovers and friends. It's the dawn of a new life for you as you stand here together with love in your eyes from the moment you whisper, I do. God's presence is here, unifying these two to become one. It's God's presence that unites you. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 2, it says, Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13, it says, And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Courtney and Travis want their marriage to be filled with joy. And not just today, but forever. The way to do that is to know what marriage values unite you both. I asked them what the most important values they want their marriage to stand for. And they said, love, communication, and friendship. Those are beautiful. Your marriage values, when followed, will always bring you together as one. When disagreement or disruption come into your everyday lives, and they will, remember, we're all works in progress. We're all trying to become the best version of ourselves. We're all human beings balancing on this big ball we call Earth. 
challenge can happen, but when it does, just remember your love for one another, more projects around the house and farm, and of course, more time with all the four-legged family members. Focus on these top values of your marriage now and forever. Love, communication, and friendship. These values mean to always be true and cont continue to hold your allegiance for each other. They mean to speak and act with integrity and to never be afraid to share how you feel. They mean to always love each other as your best friend. These values will ensure your continued commitment, your continued laughter, and your continued joy. To put those into a one sentence promise, it would be this. We promise to love each other openly and unconditionally today and for all time. That promise is to each other. Now there are a few more secrets to a happy marriage. Always be sweethearts and love constantly. Keep putting each other first and honor each other's dreams. Continue to listen to each other with your hearts and be generous with your praise. Continue to laugh together and continue to shine. Both Travis and Courtney want you all to know how incredibly grateful they are for you, their family and friends, to be with them here today. They're so happy you're spending this amazing celebration of their love right here, right now. For the highlight of the ceremony at this time, Travis and Courtney are going to share their vows to each other. Travis, please repeat after me. I, Travis, take you, Courtney. I, Travis, take you, Courtney. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For all time. For all time. Yeah. I will love and honor you. I will love and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Courtney, take you, Travis. I, Courtney, take you, Travis. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For all time. For all time. I will love and honor you. I will love and honor you. All the days of my life. Travis, do you take Courtney to be your wonderful wife? I do. Courtney, do you take Travis to be your wonderful husband? I do. Beautiful. What I would like you both to do is take your outside hand and put it over your own shoulder and bend your elbow and then go like this. <laughs> I was like, what are we doing? <laughs> We're about to exchange rings. But before we do that, what is the wedding ring? Why are these rings so symbolic? The wedding ring is the symbol of your promise to each other. The wedding ring is the symbol of your vows to each other. When you look at your rings, you will always be reminded that you are surrounded by never-ending, enduring love. AJ, let's bring forward the rings now. <laughs> mm. And go ahead and take hers, and you take his, and please take, <laughs> please take your left hand and repeat after me. Courtney, I give you this ring. Courtney, I give you this ring. To wear with love and joy. To wear with love and joy. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end. My love is also forever. My love is also forever. And take his left hand and repeat after me. Yeah. Travis, I give you this ring. Travis, I give you this ring. To wear with love and joy. As this ring has no end, 
My love is also forever. This is and is going to be one of the best nights of your life. Just take a moment, look at each other, look at your rings, look at your wedding party, look at your guests. Don't kiss the bride yet, but please just take this in for a moment. <laughs> Let's bless this couple. Let's bow our heads and pray. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful unity today. We ask that you bless this couple and their family now and forever. May we shine your love. We ask that you continue to bring this couple joy, strength, and encouragement. May they continue to enjoy their beautiful new life together. Amen. Through thick and thin, ups and downs, through the joy of your commitment today, Travis, Courtney, ladies and gentlemen, I now pronounce the two of you, husband and wife, you may now kiss the bride. Congratulations, welcome Mr. and Mrs. Bruns. Well, good evening, everybody. I'd like to thank you all so, so much from our hearts uh, for coming tonight to celebrate my daughter's wedding to this young gentleman here. They can't hear you. You need to hold it up. Oh, sorry. I, I'll just keep it out here. <laughs> well, Courtney, you look absolutely stunning tonight. Absolutely beautiful. And um, you look the same, sorry. You look absolutely lovely. Thank you. Well, I just want to congratulate both of you, and I want to thank everybody here for all the work you've put into it, and you guys too. Um, sorry. All right, I'm just going to say congratulations. I'm not the best speaker, so have a great night, and congratulations to you guys. Thank you. Here you go. Love you. Love you. Oh. Oh, Margie's coming out. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up we have one of our maid of honors. Give it up for Sarah. All right, everybody, bear with me because I already know I'm going to cry. So um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Sarah, Courtney's maid of honor. I just want to start by saying, Court, you're the most cute. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> when Courtney first asked me to be her maid of honor, I said absolutely, and then I thought to myself, oh shit, that means I have to give a speech. <laughs> I've spent hours Googling maid of honor speeches, tips, templates, watching YouTube videos, doing whatever I could to help me figure out what to say, and nothing was super helpful to apply when it comes to Courtney and I. There's not many how many how to guides when it comes to our friendship. Courtney and I have been best friends since we were five years old. I remember the first time that I met her. In typical Sloan fashion, they were running late to our first one practice of the season. <laughs> My aunt walked up to me with this little redheaded girl and said, Courtney, this is Sarah. From that moment on, we have been best of friends. From forfeiting swim races, if we had to race against each other, to playing with Polly Pockets, <laughs> to high school dances, learning how to drive, starting careers, and now we're getting you married. Courtney, you've always been my shoulder to cry on, my listening ear, and my best person to spill gossip with. You have been by my side for so much, from losing loved ones to major heartbreak and so much more. You've been my greatest supporter and have always told me when I was in the wrong. You are the most honest and trustworthy friend, someone to take all my secrets to the grave, and on top of that, you are the most kind and loving soul I've ever met. When Courtney and Travis met, all I can remember is how giddy Courtney was. She was so excited to finally meet him, like a whole nother level, just over the moon. We were on FaceTime in Courtney's kitchen for hours before you got there to pick her up. <laughs> and 
you know, I was a little skeptical because we all know how online dating can be. <laughs> um, but she FaceTimed me after that date and was just glowing from head to toe. And I knew that this was going to be something special. Travis, I couldn't ask for a better match for my best friend. Thank you for loving my favorite girl and putting her first. I'm so lucky to have Courtney as my forever friend and now I'm getting another. Thank you for including me in your story and I can't wait to continue watching you on this journey as husband and wife. I don't have my cup, but if everybody will raise a glass and help me congratulate Mr. and Mrs. Bruns, I love you both. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our maid of honor, Jackie. Yeah, Jackie! That's a tough one to follow. <laughs> no big deal. Okay. So, hi, I'm Jackie. I am the second maid of honor. Um, Courtney and I met in middle school when we were about 11 or 12 years old. We connected almost instantly, and since then, that friendship has grown deeper and stronger. When we were younger, I spent a lot more time at their house than I would like to admit. I was always there. Her parents were kind enough to drive me to school, to Young Life, and even to watch her brother play tennis sometimes. <laughs> at one point, I was basically the fifth child they never asked for. I would spend days at their house, and I'm sure the boys love having a super annoying 12-year-old girl around 24-7. Before I started writing this speech, I thought to myself that it would be a breeze. After 10 years of knowing Courtney and six of knowing Travis, I should have a lot of embarrass embarrassing stuff saved up to tell their loved ones on this very special day. But I won't do that to you, so don't worry. <laughs> There's not enough time. After I started writing this, I shortly realized it was harder than I thought to put into words how much both of you mean to me. If anyone is lucky enough to know Courtney, you know she holds a multitude of amazing qualities that are hard to ignore. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Sarah, you made this look so much easier. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <sighs> my favorite qualities of Courtney has to be how highly she values her friendship and how strongly she loves those in her life. She's one of the most warm-hearted, oh, whoa, nurturing, thoughtful, and loyal people I know. Courtney met Travis a few years after. We became friends, and I connected with Travis pretty quickly. We all had the opportunity to grow up together. Oh my goodness. Um, this is my worst nightmare. <laughs> He is kind, caring, and genuinely such a good person. Travis was there when we would put, complain to Courtney about our drama. He's definitely a trooper because there has been a lot to digest. Even now, Travis will hang out with all of us girls for hours, just letting us vent about our crazy problems and even chime in when some of us have, and even chime in with some good advice from time to time. I was trying to figure out when I knew Travis was the one for Courtney, but I couldn't think of it. I think that's because there wasn't one time or thing that happened when I thought, wow, he's the one for her. I think I've always known he was a perfect for her as I watched their relationship grow and saw how he took care of her. As cheesy as it is, Travis brings out a light so bright in Courtney. I've never seen her happier. I don't think there's a person out there who's more perfect for Courtney than Travis is. <sighs> I think this is the part now where I'm supposed to be giving some love advice. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should be the one giving you advice considering I'm quite literally the only single one in this party. <laughs> in all seriousness, Courtney and Travis are my role models, not only in their relationship, but as individuals. You both bring the absolute best in each other and everyone around you. To Travis and Courtney, I would like to say that I wish. However, I already know your life will be filled with an abundance of happiness, adventure, laughter, animals, and love. Cherish every moment you have together. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, best man AJ. Hmm? 
Well, to be honest, I really didn't know where to start or how to begin, but uh, watching you grow up from when me and you were little kids and watching you turn into the man that you've turned into, I couldn't be any more proud of you than I am in this moment. And Courtney, the way Travis shines when he's with you is astonishing. There are very few couples in the world that are lucky to have that. You two mean more than, to me than anything I could imagine just by showing up in my life and Courtney and joining this family. I want you guys to have a very long, blessed, a marriage full of love because you guys deserve it. I want to raise my glass. Salute me familia. Salute me familia. Oh, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we're going to hear from the brothers of the bride. We're going to first start off with Nick. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm Nick, brother. I didn't write a <laughs> highlight, um, a speech, because I think a lot of it during the week, I was like, oh, this marriage, we're, we're getting there. My little sister is going to be married soon and I don't know if I'm ready. Um, I guess you'll probably hear the story from these two too, but when Travis first came around, he showed up at our house, he pulled into the driveway in his Subaru, and there was us three and then a friend, and we were all like, we're just gonna intimidate the hell out of him. Like, we're gonna show this kid who's boss, he's, he's out of here, and he stuck around. He stuck around after four large dudes were like, nope. <laughs> You can't have our sister. Now, well, I guess Evan's a little smaller. It's fine. Um, now, Travis works with us. Um, part of the reason he has to stick around, if he didn't do anything good, he'd get fired. But no, he, he is one of the most genuine, inquisitive, wonderful men that I know. Um, I reason I didn't write a speech, because I knew it was just going to be sad. Sad in a way that Courtney's growing up, but also happy. So Courtney used to just come to me and be like, hey, let's go to the movies, let's go to Chipotle, and we just, it would be me and her brother, sister date. And now it's Travis and Courtney. And I am very proud and very happy that that is who is gonna be the one that takes you on the dates and who's gonna be the one that takes care of you. So I couldn't be happier to be standing up here. I'm very proud. And don't screw up. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's a threat right there. <laughs> Hello! 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 Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, next up, Justin. <laughs> oh, good, Justin! <laughs> So Nick forgot the best part of that story about Travis coming. We all whipped off our shirts. We said, this is going to intimidate the hell out of this kid. So that was the best part of the story. But anyways, baby sister. From the trips going to Texas, just the two of us, to all the life in between. Couldn't imagine you marrying a guy. And when I met Travis, I, I didn't immediately know, but... <laughs> A couple years later and all the life that we've done together, I knew he was the perfect match for you and I really say it from the bottom of my heart, I couldn't imagine you marrying a better guy and not only am I gaining a, uh, another family member but I'm getting a brother and someone who I can count on and trust and that's what I am really excited about for the two of you that, you know, you're not just family, you're, you're one and you're a beautiful couple and I just, I'm happy for you guys and I love you a lot. and. I'm horrible at speeches, so <laughs> I just want you guys to know that I love you, and um, I'm here for you, and we're all here for you. We love you, and wish you the best. Love you guys. Yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, Nevin. I'm already almost crying, so. <laughs> oh, break. I'm, I'm Nevin, by the way, if you guys don't know. I'm Courtney's sister, or not sister. <laughs> Sometimes, actually, if you look at my Facebook, it might look like that, so, um, anyways, I'm, I'm Courtney's brother, no, I didn't play that at all. <laughs> uh, oh, guys, Frank, I just love you guys so much. Um, what, is my leg shaking? That's why I did my whole wedding. If you guys watch my wedding video, I was just like this whole time, because Quinn looks so good. Anyways, I'm going to start focusing on you guys now, <laughs> but, Courtney, I just feel like, for a whole life. We've been best friends. Um, it's just crazy. It's crazy to see where you're at with life. Because <laughs> like, it doesn't feel like you've changed that much um, just because of how close we still feel. Um, but you've grown so much. It's unreal to just see that every day and see you just be filled with joy and so much kindness. and. Dude, everybody that has spoken, like Sarah and Jackie, and just everybody is so right that you're like literally the best friend that anybody could ever have. Um, like you're so loyal and kind and supportive, and like I just I love being your friend. It's like one of my favorite things in life. Um, and then this guy came along, this freaking handsome lad right here. <laughs> and dude, I just oh frick. <laughs> You're one of my other best friends, too. Um, I just enjoy you so much, dude. Like, every day when I come to work, I'm just so ready to be showed up by Travis because he just knows way more than, than me. <laughs> and these guys can attest to that. Yeah, Nick had the greatest word for it, inquisitive. He's just like, like if we have a problem, we go to Travis because he just knows what to do with it. Uh, yeah, dude, I just feel so confident when I'm with you and... Like, I just feel so loved and comforted, and just thank you for that. You know, I'll never forget the trips that we've been on, like, to Arizona, and just so many trips. Like, even Castlewood Canyon, like, probably the first week you guys were dating. I don't know. I just have always felt like God just wanted me to be your friend, <laughs> and that's the best thing ever. So, yeah, I love you guys a lot, and I'm just praying for you guys, and I know that God... I know that God made this bond today. Like, it's not just a physical thing. It's a very spiritual thing. Um, I'm so excited that you're never going to leave our family. You're never leaving, bro. <laughs> yeah, guys, I love you so much. Courtney, you look freaking beautiful. So, <laughs> All right, to the wonderful couple. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.